What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and today we're going to take a look at the 2018 Subaru Legacy 3.6R Limited with Option Package 23. So this is truly the top of the line Legacy, not only with the larger six cylinder engine option, but it also comes with eyesight, the navigation, keyless entry and push to start all of the bells and whistles you could possibly have on the Subaru Legacy. Now, this is still going to be on the same platform as the 2017s and 2016s. However, they have made a couple of exterior and interior changes that really, really make this a much nicer vehicle than just one year ago. So on the exterior, a couple things you'll notice right off the bat. We do have new bumpers, both on the front and on the back. So you can see here, especially in the fog light design, this has definitely been modified. And we are also going to see the steering responsive LED headlights on the 3.6R Limited and also on the 2.5i Limited when it's equipped with eyesight. We also have a little bit of a different headlight design here. So similar to what we saw on the Outback, it kind of has a little bit more of an angular um, sense to it here on the inside and we also have this inner bezel here as well which is going to be new for 2018 so it gives it just a little bit more of an aggressive look on the front of the vehicle now a couple things that they have done as well on the outside we are going to see here these this is probably one of the easiest ways to spot an 18 versus a 17 so the 2018s the um, mirrors on the sides here. These are going to be the ones that you're going to see on the Impreza and the Crosstrek, also on the new Outback, and they have a little bit of a thinner turn signal here. So that's a nice easy way to kind of spot an 18 versus a 17 when you're looking quickly. The other thing I really like is they also have the blind spot detection on the inside of the mirror here, so you can actually see it much more easily instead of having to turn and look for it on the outside of the mirror. So that's one thing I do really like. Now let's go take a look on the back of the vehicle and see how some of the styles has changed there. Welcome to the back of the Legacy. So along the sides, there's really not much that's changed. The wheels really look the same. There's no you know, extra lines or anything like that that we're really seeing. The mirrors on the side of the vehicle are really the only thing. But like I said, the rear bumper has changed a little bit. I'm not noticing too much of a difference here in the headlights all that much, but the rear bumper, especially on the bottom here with the new chrome exhaust tips, and also this whole bottom part is, is new as well. And it looks like you even have like a little bit of a diffuser, which definitely gives it a little bit more of a sporty edge. Now, this is the six cylinder. I don't believe I've noticed that on a couple of the other 18s I've looked at, but it's definitely nice, especially when you're opting for the bigger engine option to give it a little bit more of a sporty feel, which we really like. And you will also notice these ultrasonic sensors along the back. So we do have uh, the reverse automatic braking, which we did have last year as well, but nice to see that continue on through to the 2018. Now on the inside of the new 2018 Legacy, this is where a lot of the changes have really happened. And you're gonna notice the big differences really between a 17 and 18. So the first thing we're gonna notice here is actually gonna be on the door panel. If you guys watched our review of the 2018 Outback, we mentioned this as well. But the stitching you see along here on the panel, um, this is gonna be new. It kind of gives it a little bit more of a luxury feel for the Legacy, which is a really nice thing to see. We did sort of see a pattern like this on the Sport last year, but that was with cloth. So now we're seeing this with leather as well. And to continue that theme of the stitching as well, we do have a lot of that in here on the inside. So we have some silver stitching, not only on the steering wheel, but also along the dash, which really give it a nice kind of elegant feel to it, which I really do like myself. Now, in terms of other features on the, on the door, you know, where the memory position settings are, all of that's gonna be the same. In terms of the steering wheel, however, uh, we do have a couple differences here. So we're, get, we're getting a lot more of these sort of piano key black, kind of gloss black accents throughout on a couple of the Subarus. They're starting to add that a lot more. The overall wheel design's a little bit different. It's a little bit smaller. There's a little bit tighter of a steering ratio, uh, so I'm told here as well. And this is now more like the steering wheel we're seeing on the Impreza and the Crosstrek and now on the 2018 Outback as well. So a little bit of different placement for things, but all of the same controls are still gonna be there for you. We do still have the same toggles to, to control your 3.5 inch screen up here. So you do have the digital speedometer and a couple of things regarding fuel economy. And we're also now gonna see the tire pressure units individually you know, displayed for you here, which we've seen previously on the Impreza, uh, the 2017 being the first year to have that. So that's really, really nice. Now overall, all of the placement for your eyesight buttons, everything here is gonna be the same. The biggest difference really comes in the center stack area here with the new Starlink eight inch touchscreen infotainment system. So now this is gonna come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The more basic models, such as the base and the premium, are going to come with a 6.5 inch touchscreen, but it's still going to have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So you're, st you're going to get that on any new Legacy, which is a really, really nice feature. They've also kind of changed the design down here as well. So this one does have the dual automatic climate control, but now we're actually seeing a digital display of the temperature right here in the middle of the dial, which just kind of gives it a little bit more of a high-tech sort of feel to it, which I really like. 
Now that piano key accents that I was talking about, we're gonna see a little bit more of that up here. We're also gonna see the gloss, gloss black hazard light button here. So that's not red anymore. It's now this nice gloss black. And we're also seeing some of these kind of brushed steel accents as well that just kind of round it out really nicely when in conjunction with that piano key black. It looks very, very nice here. Uh, we are also gonna see the piano key down here on the shift lever. And I believe that's probably the only places that they have it other than what I've mentioned previously. So everything else down here looks to be identical. And the only other thing too, that now they have this nice thin frame rear view mirror that you can get as an option. So you can get it either with or without the camera for the high beam assist up here. So it gives it a little bit more of a sleek design if you do choose to have that and not that bulky third camera up in the front like we've seen previously. Just like in the front, the doors do have the stitching back here as well. And we also have that kind of brushed steel accent here in addition to that wood grain, which really gives it a nice sporty slash luxury feel, which this car really is. It's the six cylinder, so it's sportier, but it's still a luxury legacy. It's not, you know, a WRX or anything like that. So now, and one thing that the legacy really is known for is interior cabin space. Now I'm six foot one and I, I moved this, the front driver's seat to exactly how I would have it positioned. And the nice thing is that the backs of the seats have this nice cutout here, which really helps to increase rear legroom. So I have probably a solid five to six inches behind a six foot one foot person you know, in the back. So you can very comfortably fit adults back here, which is really convenient and also very practical as well for an all wheel drive car that has tons of, of trunk space as well. Now we do still have the vents here. These are gonna be the same that we've seen in, in the previous years in the limited trim level. So if you've got leather, you have the vents back here in the Legacy. We still have the heated seats, but the new thing here is gonna be the dual USB charging ports. So we do actually have USB charging ports in the back which is super convenient, especially if you have kids back here trying to charge their phones and they're not fighting for the space up in the front where the USBs are also located up there. So in terms of interior cabin noise, they have done a couple extra things than they had for 2017. So they still have the noise insulating windshield, but they've added noise insulating glass on the driver's side as well as the passenger side in the front, which overall reduce the amount of road harshness and things that you're hearing there. So a little bit of suspension tuning, a little bit of tuning to the transmission, but overall the drive is relatively similar to that of a 2017. So thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you guys are curious about the new Legacy, we've got tons of them in stock right now. It's the end of the month, so we're definitely looking to move some inventory. So if you guys have any questions or concerns or want to schedule a test drive, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We're happy to help you out. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Groove Subaru Today.